In this short video, I'm going to show you how you can create a question pool from questions that you put into your question library. And if you didn't see the video on how to create a question library, then pause this video and go back to the previous one so that you can see how to do that first. Once you have your question library up and running, then you can create a question pool in your D2L course. And as always, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out and contact us at onlinehelp at okcu.edu. So navigate to the course that you wanna work in where you have already created your question library. I did that in my previous video, so I'm going to start here from my quiz page. And to get to a quiz page inside your course, click assignments, then click quizzes. For this example, I want to create a new quiz. And so I click the new quiz button, give my quiz a name. We'll call this the question pool and choose to add and edit and or edit questions. <clears throat> You'll be prompted then to know whether you wanna import questions from another question library that exists from a file or from a learning repository. Uh, you can upload a file, it's a little clunky, so we're not gonna address that. Your best option would be to uh, browse a question library, which is what we created. For this particular uh, lesson though, we wanna talk about creating a question pool. That's gonna be under the blue add button. So click the blue add button and you can either A, create a brand new question all on your own, and D2L has several different question uh, types, or you can click to create a new question pool. That's what we're going to choose to do today. Inside the question pool, give your question pool a title. So if you're working with a specific chapter of text or something like that, you can actually name it after that text and chapter. In this one, we're doing question pool. So I'm gonna give this the question pool part one title. And then what we want to do is find these questions to choose from, because what a question pool does is it pulls, uh, it pulls several questions together into one source, and then it randomly assigns X number of those questions to your students. I'll show you. We're going to browse the question library, and we're going to find some questions. In my question library, I have 164 questions for students. For this particular, um, example, I want to use my DH2 test four quizzes, quiz questions. So I'm going to choose all of the questions in DH2 test four and click add. Now, this then displays that there are 40 total questions available in this exam and that each question is going to be worth one point. I want my students to answer 25 total questions from this particular unit and each of those questions is going to be worth X number of points. In this case, I want it to be two. So I'm going to change one point per question and make it two points per question. You do what works best for your particular situation. Once I've chosen how many questions I want the students to answer out of how many total questions I want to have available and that I've chosen how many points per question, I click save. This creates my question pool and it shows it to me. Now, when you're putting a test together, you can do several question pools at once, but it could get tricky on whether or not students are being asked the same questions uh, or different ones. So be careful when you do this. Go back to your quiz settings, and it will display for you that your students are going to receive 25 random questions for a total of 50 points available. Identify any other important material or information that you need to have on this particular test. So if you're going to have a restriction, click the restriction tab and put the restrictions in there. When the due date will be, when the quiz will open, when it will close, uh, any conditions that need to be attached, how long students are going to have to take the test, whether the time limit is enforced, whether you're going to show a clock, if you have students who um, need some special, uh, have special services and need some access here, like additional time, you can add that. On the assessment tab, you can tie this particular qu quiz into the gradebook. You can allow the attempt to be graded immediately upon completion. And D2L will grade all multiple choice and fill in the blank that are a perfect match. And it will grade some other things automatically. If there's a short fill in the blank or short answer, something like that where multiple different answers could work, 
D2L will not grade those kind of questions. You can export all grades to the gradebook. So once you created a gradebook item, allow it to be graded immediately, put a gradebook item in, and then allow automatic export to grades. Identify how many attempts you want your students to have, and then if you allow multiple attempts, which attempt to keep. That gets us ready for our quiz. We come back to the properties tab, and at the bottom of the page, we can click save and close. Once we do that, the quiz is saved. It's going to be ready for the students at the date and time that you said it would be, and it will be automatically graded for the students and automatically populate the gradebook. Now, having said that, there are some questions that you will have to go in and manually grade as well, depending on the type of question, uh, questions you use as for your quiz. So that's how to create a question pool in D2L. And as always, if you have any questions or issues or concerns, you can contact us at onlinehelp at okcu.edu.